When you hear the knives sharpening, you know it's time for the Sam and Sean special. Episode nine, Sean's first time eating showaffle. Shawarma and falafel makes showaffle. <laughs> We get it. I've never seen this. I've never had it. I love both things. Let's see it put together. Sam on the camera doing what he does. Let's get after it. Best two items on the menu, falafel and shawarma, chicken or steak, mix them together. I don't know how you could be disappointed. Shawafel, let's go. Let's drop some falafel. Look at those bad boys. Nice and golden brown. Let's assemble our shawafel. We always start with fresh pita, not, never frozen, baked daily, soft pocket pouch. Two pieces of golden falafel, dropped right in. Drop some nice chicken shawarma on there, nice and crispy. Let's put some more in there. Now we're just gonna add some tomato, pickle, lettuce, garlic sauce. doesn't get any better than that. Now you don't have to pick one or the other. If you like falafel and you like shawarma, you can mix them together, chow down. Fresh bread, pocket pouch, let's do steak shawafel. Again, two falafels. Fresh, nice and golden brown, soft pieces of falafel. All right, now let's get some steak in here. We're gonna do tomatoes, onions, tahini sauce, and a little bit of lettuce. They look even better together. Outside of Sam, I think Sean's one of the greatest additions to create for <laughs> Very nice of you to say. Hey guys, why not us, huh? Why not us? Steak shawafel, chicken shawafel, maybe the best one-two combo you could possibly have here today. And we're gonna do them both in one episode. I can't do it. Okay. We'll do it live. Okay. No. We'll do it live! We have graduated from Shawnee Two Sandwiches to Shawnee Two Pitas, and I'm not mad about it. It kind of gets rid of the S2S, which is, you know, I like the sing-songiness, the rhythm of it, but <laughs> I'll take some pitas whenever pitas are available. Hey. I'm gonna start steak. I love the little zhuzh at the end, so the little indicator. So you got like the steak on this one with the little half falafel and then on the chicken one, which look at the crisp on the chicken. You got that on top too with the falafel. Presentation's an 11 out of 10. That doesn't make sense. Peel as you go. It's like a salty Flintstones push pop, huh? Yabba dabba do! A yabba dabba, a dabba do! Yeah, Flintstones push ups, that's what's cool! You get that reference, you're a millennial. Push -ups. Shout out to Sam once again for feeding me hunger. <laughs> Here we go. I'm gonna try to do some of the falafel, some of the steak. We're gonna see what happens. Okay. I feel like I say it every first bite. We're gonna be okay today. We're gonna be okay. Hey. Look at us. The entree itself, like the steak and falafel, is busting out of the pita. Big bites, and then you get that refreshingness of the lettuce and the tomato. The pitas here are concerningly soft. Like you, every time you were bullied in high school, you got concerningly soft, and that's okay. I'm afraid of these feelings and what they might mean. It's like because I hate myself so much, I gotta point that hate outward. But now you can channel it into eating. <laughs> What is he even talking about? It's a cloud. Everything in this, there's the hot and the cold, the salty, the creamy. I don't know a single person that doesn't enjoy a pita filled with stuff. <laughs> Here we go. I don't know what else you need me to say. One of my favorite videos I filmed with Sam, it was at episode one of this vlog here at Crave Kebab, was hearing all about Sam's background in making falafel with his grandma, and the like process that goes into it, and the care that Crave Kebab puts into it. That all translates to the food and every bite so beautifully. See, here we go. Now we're really getting into the territory where, look, this is like so much steak, and then the falafel crispiness on the bottom. This meal is an adventure. Wow, that red onion is such a key player in this thing. It really like makes itself known, but it doesn't steal the show. A lot of assists. And then now, the chicken shawarma is probably my favorite thing on the menu. I think if I had to pick one thing. So now that we're combining it with falafel, I have a feeling this is gonna, I might start freaking out. <laughs> in a fun way. I'm freaking out, man. 
You are freaking out, man. I just love how tender the chicken is here. It's marinated in the walk-in for like two days. I've done absolutely no work. I just pointed a camera at people that are much more talented than I am, and I get to chew for you guys. I'm going to the chicken side. The downfall of eating this early in the day is that now the rest of my day gets worse from here. <laughs> It makes me feel good that it happened, but nothing, you know, it's like, it's just, it's starting like an Olympic race out of the gate so quick, and you know you can't sustain that. That's what I'm living right now. All right, enough, Sean, just eat. Oh my God. <laughs> this guy sucks. It happens when you're a videographer and you're trying to show people, look how much, look how much bite this is. You spill it all over your other camera, and that's okay. <laughs> Very funny, Roger. What a mess. I'm just such a klutz. I'm a real Roger klutz. <laughs> Millennials. Anywho, before this happened, oh no! Look at all that bite. So much chicken, so much falafel. Now the big old falafel side. You have the falafel across the whole bottom, but that little added one there on like the left. Now the really fun gluttonous part. In my left hand. The steak in my right hand. The chicken. We're dancing. Hey, did you just barely miss the green? You're dancing. What the hell? The amount of people that are commenting. I don't know what this guy's talking about, but that food looks good. <laughs> Took Lionel on a walk earlier. And boy, is that dog just love walk. He loves walks the same way that I love food cut off of a spinning meat spit and then just handed to me. We got two and a half miles in with the dog, and then over two miles with my own legs on the track, we're earning the bites. Before I finish off this, I'm feeling saucy. Can I grab a couple sauces, Sam? Yeah, go <laughs> you know I'm gonna do it. Yeah, yeah. A little garlic, a little fire. Why not? You know what I do. Why not? God, that's the best refrigerator in the game right there. It's a beer cooler. That's a beer cooler? It's a beer cooler. I'm telling you, man, I don't even think about beer when all these, no. You're the only person that I can look at a fridge like that and want sauce more than beer. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> it's like a reward. If you've been watching, you already know. The garlic and the fire. So Sam turned me on to this a few weeks ago and now I put it on everything they serve. And admittedly, I keep some at home for other foods that aren't Crave Kebab. It's sometimes you just gotta keep the sauces from your favorite restaurants on hand to help out with food that's not as good. Or just to enhance it. I'm not saying all other food is bad. I love how velvety this fire sauce is. This is what he taught me. Pour a little bit of that fire, or a lot of it, however you're feeling, into the garlic. I have a fork on hand. It's gonna turn this like beautiful kind of orangish pink color. You'll more than likely spill. <laughs> spill it over your food and not on the table. If you're an adult, I'm not. And where's that chicken? Now I'm gonna dump this right on. Get the garlic and fire and mix them. And alley-oop. I'll tell you what, it brings a whole new like level to the dish. I kind of like the idea of like eating a quarter, a third, a half of it, and then dumping the sauce to kind of get like two meals, if you will. This is something special. Man, even with the drizzle, I'll still dunk, like the corners. I truly don't understand people who's, when eating, isn't their like top hobby. <laughs> Cause I'll tell you what, the second slot for me is much lower. Mm. If you gotta pick one, I just love chicken, like that's my number one. But they're both just so good. And I completely understand why they're doing this. I don't know if all Mediterranean restaurants, I feel like they don't do a shawafel. Adding the two together, the crunchy texture of falafel with the chicken just brings a whole new element. And then the pickle with this chicken. When I get back to the apartment, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna bring it home. They have Dubai chocolates now. A white chocolate and a milk chocolate, I believe. Two different variations that you can only get dine in. So they're in the fridge behind me. I'm gonna try those for the first time back home for a little dessert. But then as always, cravekebab.com, link below. Order, it integrates with Chow Now, no hidden fees. You save the most money, the restaurant makes the most money from the transaction, everybody wins, including me, because you took my advice. That's really all I can ask you to do. It validates me as a creator. I'll see you guys again soon. Next week is episode 10. We're hitting double digits. Also, my dad's in town. I'm gonna try to get him here. Try to get him here, I live over there. For him to try his first ever shawarma. Pretty sure he's never had it. 
that's gonna change. The man was a butcher, cutting meat for 40 years. He's gonna have his first shawarma on camera. I'm excited about it. For now, the shawaffle up, the shawaffle down. Life is good, be good to each other, and mix the fire with the garlic. You're welcome. Why not? Why not do some studio lights for a little post bumper Dubai chocolate eating session? I'm gonna save the white chocolate one. Milk chocolate pistachio with Kinder. You guys familiar with Kinder? Dubai chocolate is so popular right now. That fluffy pistachio interior. Like I said, dine-in only to get this. They keep it in the fridge, which all candy should be kept in the fridge. But I've never had this. Wow, is that satisfying. That kindery, almost like Nestle crunch waffly texture. Fluffy pistachio. I get the hype. Okay, go support my friends at Crave Kebab. Tack on one of these to your order. So satisfying and like creamy and fluffy and chocolatey, not too sweet. Okay, so I guess I love to buy chocolate. Goodbye, chocolate.